Hello and welcome back to Motorsport and Performance. I'm Teddy and today we're going to be showing you exactly what you get in a Whipple kit. So, we are actually doing a full build on the car behind me. This is Chris's car, it's already like a stage 3 NA map and it's getting a supercharger finally. Chris is really excited. So you are going to get to see what we're doing on the car. We're doing full painted trims, we're doing the oil pump and crank gear which is actually already in. But the purpose of this video is to show you exactly what you get for £10,000 or so in your Whipple kit. So, you get two big boxes from Whipple. One of them has your supercharger and one of them has everything else. So we're going to start with the one that's full of the bits and bobs that you need to fit your Whipple. Let's get into it. So, in the kit, you're also going to see how well packaged the Whipples are, which you want when it's travelling halfway across the world to Europe. So we're going to go through everything that's in here. Just pick it out and I'll show you what it is. Here you have your instruction box. So, in here, instructions for the year and model, 2018 and up. So that's a full instruction booklet, very in-depth. You could literally follow that on your drive at home. And a packing sheet that shows you all the parts that you've got. So when we do these, we normally always check we've got all the parts before we start the build. There's nothing worse than getting halfway through a build and find you haven't got a part. But Whipple are pretty good at what they do, and it never happens. So that's very nice. You also get a series of Whipple stickers and a American number plate holder uh, and some stickers for your fuel cap uh, and what fuel you need to use so just a bit of a sticker and instruction box there we have, I'm not going to open this but I know exactly what's in here it's all the hoses you need for the job um, it's quite a lot of hoses, coolant hoses, it has your fuel lines, your breather hoses um, everything is in there and here and there may be one or two in other boxes around here this is the Whipple Tomahawk tool so this is what you use to send the files off to Whipple and flash them back onto the car so obviously once you fit a supercharger if you're doing it at home you're going to need some form of tune to get you on the road so this is actually a finished file by Whipple so you can leave this on as is as long as you can't stand it this one however has long tube headers so it is going to require a full tune by us anyway but we do start with the Whipple tune so this one is I believe a fuel rail box yes it is show you what's inside here so again with it coming halfway around the world, you're going to want it secure, so you've got two of them, making sure that your fuel rails are nice and safe. So you get two of these fuel rails by Whipple, awesome quality parts, all the fittings needed and O-rings to do so. Uh, the clocking devices for the injectors are also in here, and we've also got the relevant bolts to bolt these to the supercharger. Here we have our throttle body, I believe. Let's open her up. Yeah, this is a stage 2 Whipple. So if you get the stage 1, you don't get a throttle body, you just use a standard one. You do get an adapter plate, I believe. Whereas this is the giant Whipple Crusher throttle body, I believe it's called. Uh, that is proper awesome stuff there. Um, you can really see where your money goes on these. The parts are just insane quality. So that's the throttle body. Here we have, I believe, no writing, but I think it's a pulley box. Ah, not far off. So we've got some breather hoses. Uh, that is an adapter for purge solenoid. So there's loads of little bits that you just wouldn't assume come with if you've not seen one of these kits or a supercharger before. There's so many things that it comes with. Um, it's also got in here your IAT sensor and connector spark plugs we've got denso iridium power spark plugs so it's a fully comprehensive kit you don't even need to buy your spark plugs ah a fuel pump i believe yep the dw in tank fuel pump comes with that for you as well uh, and we also have the injectors in here too uh, i think that's a supercharger pulley in this one yep so we've got the standard 3.875 whipple pulley 
obviously they can be upgraded at any point in your journey but again stage two kit that's what it comes with and also the last thing in this box is the injectors so these are the upgraded Deutschworks injectors next on the list we have this heavy box which is uh, this has got to be the pulleys and the bracket for the pulleys That is the adjustable idler pulley. That replaces your standard one. Fits in the same place, you get a new bolt for it, I believe. In here somewhere, all the hardware is supplied, like I keep saying. You also get, yep, yeah, more idler pulleys, two of them in there. And another pulley, I believe that's a ribbed pulley, is it? No, that's a smooth idler pulley. So, uh, again, quality just unmatched. So, anyway, we have your belt tensioner. Awesome. So, again, Whipple branded. It's also got a gauge on it to see how under tension your belt is. Uh, Whipple have a specification for this, um, which helps. Uh, but it lets you know that you've got your belt too tight or too slack, which is really cool. You also, get the correct fittings for this as well in here. I mean, it's just a through and through awesome kit. Uh, in here we've got more pulleys as well. Uh, that is the ribbed pulley, I believe, of a six rib system. Obviously, depending on what rib system you buy, uh, you can get the 10 rib system, which is just for overkill for belt grip, so there's no belt slip. Six rib pulley. We've got the belt as well by Gates, a uh, very renowned belt company, uh, an OEM manufacturer for many cars. Here we have the supercharger bolts, I believe. Yep, so you've got the four supercharger bolts. Um, here is a very nice bit of kit. This is to mount all your new pulleys to, obviously they don't all fit in the standard place, some do, they do replace them, but this is for your new ones, so you've got two smooth idler pulleys here, your tensioner goes on there, and this just bolts to the front cover, which is really nice and awesome, one piece system, uh, and it bolts straight on, I believe the bolts of this are in here as well, um, and all the shims you need for setting off, offsetting the pulleys. And we another pulley in here, which is the same as the other. And here we have the dual pass heat exchanger. If you can see it, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure all of our 2018 cars now are coming with dual pass heat exchangers because they are much better for the needs of a 2018 car. Now, this is literally two heat exchangers together. So normally you'd have an inlet and an outlet at the bottom here, but because it's going back and forth and then back and forth through this, a dual pass, it comes back out here. So they also do send you the extra line, which I believe is down there somewhere, I've seen it, uh, to extend it to get it to this side. I mean, you can see the quality that goes into this thing. Uh, most radiators, heat exchangers, whatever, charge coolers, uh, they don't come black nowadays, which is really annoying, but Whipples do, so win-win. A little bit better for heat dispersion, uh, and it looks better. Uh, air tube. So now we're on to the intake side of things. Uh, we have Jubilee clips for this. This is the intake tube, which goes to the throttle body and the airbox. So very nice uh, silicon design. Um, yeah, you're not going to have any issues with that cracking or anything. Uh, and it does look pretty cool. It looks a bit mean on your engine. In the same box, we also have a sound tube delete plug. 2018s actually already have a sound tube delete in there already. It's a nice little freebie if you've got that. Um, a lot of 15 to 7 owners look for that. Uh, insert for the elliptical tube and the throttle body gasket. So that's all in there. Second to last box in here is ah, we have fuel line, that's a rail to rail fuel line off of the back of a supercharger, uh, we've got the wiring system for the Whipple which is actually really simple, so if you are installing one of these that is very well thought out, it's 
pretty much just for the coolant pump for this but it's very long it's very neatly designed so that you can tuck it out of the way and you'll never even know it's there and in here we have the coolant tank for the supercharger system you can actually get two of these i believe uh, there's a plastic molded one and there's this full metal one uh, both do exactly the same job but yeah that's all that does here we have the supercharger oil um, four fluid ounces yeah so that's the right amount for the supercharger uh, this has to be changed every hundred thousand mile i believe here we have the supercharger coolant pump so that obviously bolts onto the side of the coolant tank and this pumps fluid around all of the supercharger system um, a very good quality pump uh, i've never seen one fail never heard of one failing um, so you know the qualities within this as well ah this is a pretty important bag now this has got all the seals in it for the supercharger lid it's got all the seals for the lowest of the supercharger where it mounts to the inlets on the ports um, all bolts and fittings needed for the supercharger lid for the supercharger itself uh, the quick connect fittings that go on the side of the supercharger for all your breather hoses and stuff and in here we have another bag of fittings these are for the charge cooler charge cooler brackets bolts for it all uh, all the adapter bolts as well coolant pump holder so that is literally just everything you need is in here you couldn't ask for much more from a company uh, I know you're paying a lot of money for it um, it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other superchargers out there but you do pay for what you get in quality uh, and I can show you so far all I am seeing is good quality so we now have the last box in here that open packaging 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 if you do buy one of these and open one of these at home you are going to need a big bin for the packaging there's a lot of it it's a good thing we have the heat shield for the intake uh, some seal for the air box uh, this is all parts for the air box i believe oh no we have more coolant hoses uh, like i did say there are stuff scattered here and there for the coolant system uh, but it is mainly in that bag that's a coolant to fill a tea hose uh, speaking of a fill a tea where's that oh my god it's new right okay that looks pretty cool so this is an updated design of what was previously only maybe that thick uh, and that looks more like a reservoir which is really good i assume that's to keep a better eye on the level of the fluid um, that's pretty cool i like that um, see with whipple as well we've been fitting these for a good few years now uh, and they do update the designs quite often uh, which you want for when you're paying that money um, um, you're always going to get the latest designs from Whipple. Uh, we've also got the lower, oh no, that's the upper air box, so that's like the air box lid. Again, really nice quality. Get your big Whipple cone filter, that's awesome. I mean, that is a big air filter, that's, that's proper cool. Uh, and then you've got your lower air box, so literally everything you need is supplied in this kit and that is the lot of it so box one fitting kit done so just got rid of that first box i've got all the parts laid out somewhat uh, i'm going to be fitting them anyway so we might as well have them out uh, the last box so box two of two is the whipple itself so i'm going to need your help Abba, if you want to set the camera down to have a look at this uh, and come over and give us a lift So the Whipple is actually out now, finally. Um, packaging, that's a thumbs up from me. Um, there's no chance of one of these getting damaged in transport. I'm pretty confident you could throw that off a cliff and still open it up at the end and it'd be fine. So yeah, anyway, here we have the black three litre Whipple. Uh, this is a Gem 5. I mean, you can see that the design of this one is actually different to the previous ones. I don't know if you've seen them, but if you haven't, check them out because it's quite big. As it goes up to the back of the charger, it's huge up here as well. Um, the design of these things is insane. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, we installed one of these and we were revving a car to test it. Uh, and we noticed that the top of this, that looks like a rib cage, moves up and down uh, it literally breathes so i think that's the design of this to look a bit like a rib cage uh, and it, it breathes it is absolutely insane um the thought process and design and engineering that has gone into this is just 
I've never seen anything like it. We are going to need to take the lid off this, so I'm thinking we'll take it off now uh, and then we can actually show you inside it anyway and show you the screws. Now that the lid is off, we can see the internals of the supercharger. Now in here we have the screws. Previously on a Gen 3 Whipple, the screws were on top. Now what that means is when the air comes in to get compressed, it has to go through and then down through the charge cooler. Because the charge cooler is lower than the inlet ports on the head, it then actually has to come back up and then back into the engine. This is more efficient because it only has to come in, go up through the charge cooler and then straight into the engine. So there's a little less time for the air to have to sit or to do anything in here. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be lazy with one of these uh, or the Gen 3. The Gen 3 is awesome, we actually run one on ASBO map, but this is a little bit more efficient. So there you have it guys, there is everything that comes in the Whipple kit. Now we are going to install this now and if you want to see it finished and on the car make sure you tune in next week when the car will be fully finished. Thanks again guys, see you next time.